Hey guys, Anthony here with a Vidently demo and walkthrough. Vidently is a video creation software with which you can create videos quickly using pre-made video templates. So let me show you how to use it. So I've got Vidently open here. I really like the simplistic user interface. The menu bar up top is pretty similar to Explainio 3.0. You use these buttons to open, create and save your video projects. You can add audio to your video like a voiceover background music and I'll cover this in a separate tutorial. Here's where you preview your video project and use the create video button to render an mp4. In this section of the menu bar you can change settings including Pixabay integration, change languages, manage your license, contact support and access your online account. In this main section you won't see anything until you create a video project so let's do that. Click the create project button, give it a name and click create. Next click the add scene button down below to start building your video project. It will open the scenes gallery. In this section you will find all the slide or scene packs. In this middle section it will display all the slides in a particular scene pack and in this right section you can preview the scene pack. I'm going to choose the Add Caster 1 scene pack. I'll choose slide 7 and click the Add Single button down below. The slide will be added to the timeline. Next I'll go back to the Scenes Gallery by clicking the Add Scene button and this time I'll choose the Corporate Promo 13 scene pack. And I'll select slides 1 and 2 and click the Add Selected button down below. As you can see all the slides have been added to the timeline below. You can rearrange slides in the timeline by dragging and dropping them like so. When you click on a specific slide in the timeline, you will see all the layers that make up that slide. For example, text, outline, image and video layers. This is the canvas area as well as the preview section. You can use this playhead to scrub through the slide like so. And you can use these hotspots in the preview section to edit specific elements. For example, I'll use this image hotspot to add an image like so. I don't want these outline layers, so I'll hide them by clicking on the eye icons. I'll also change the color of this outline layer to black. Next, let's edit the text by using these edit buttons in the layers section. You will see this dialog box when you click the edit button to edit the text. And you can also change the font size and color and click OK. I'll do the same for the second text layer. So we now have edited the text layers. You can check this box down below to preview individual scenes in the timeline like so. Now let's move to the second slide in the timeline. And again, I'll scrub through the slide by dragging the playhead in the preview section like so. I'll edit the text by using the edit buttons like I showed you earlier. So I've edited all the three text layers and I'll hide this block of text by using the eye icon. I'll also move all these text layers down like so. Next I'll change the color of this outline layer to black. And finally I'll use this edit button to add an image in the background like so. Similarly like I showed you earlier we can do a quick scene preview like so. Finally, we'll edit the third slide using the same editing process I just showed you. Let's take a quick preview to see what the third slide looks like. You can also add scene transitions in the timeline below if you wish. And once you're done editing your video project, you can preview the whole project. Use the save button to save your project. And finally, use the Create Video button to render an MP4. And here's a quick preview of the demo project we just created.